Hi Capricorn, this is a general love reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and our Venus signs. It is going to be general so it might not resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs. If you want something more specific, you can get a personal reading and all that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, and let's see, what is going on with Capricorn? First half of March, 2021. Oh, okay. So we have solitude, we have union, and we have crossroads. So, Okay, you could be in a, finding yourself in a situation where you feel actually alone. It could be that you are in a relationship for some of you, um, but yet you're still feeling alone within the connection. And then for others of you, um, and, wait, let me finish that thought. Because you feel alone within that connection, you might be thinking about which way to go, like if you want to leave this connection or not. And then for others of you, it could be that you are alone, but you are trying to decide between staying alone or moving towards some kind of a, un a union with somebody, all right? Um, it could even be on an energetic level where it, it doesn't necessarily have to be that you have an offer from this person, but it could just be, you know, do you want to continue on hoping for this, wanting this, doing things for this, thinking about this union, or do you want to just focus on being alone? All right, so... Let's get into the details here. For Capricorn. First half of March, 2021. All right, so let's see. For Cappy, we have the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Alright, so I feel like you're coming from a very um, strong connection here with somebody. There was a lot of movement or just a lot of you really trying to... I'm getting understand. Understand this connection, actually. Kind of like an inner dialogue with yourself, almost, even though that's not usually what this Eight of Wands is. But that's how it's coming through to me, especially together with this um, Page of Cups. It could even be that you had communication with this person and that you expressed your feelings to them. I don't know what the result of that was. Let's see their energy. We have the Magician, the Ace of Cups, and the Sun. Wow. Wow. This is somebody, okay, I'm getting, this is a very strong connection, so um, I'm trying to understand here where this solitude is coming from. Um, I feel like this person is really wanting to manifest you into their, into their life because they feel a lot of love. They feel like you complete them, you fulfill them, you give them happiness, and they would want to manifest this into, your, into their life. So I'm trying to understand what, what it is here that has happened We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Let's see what is coming up in the near future, or just the future in general. We have the Queen of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Again, I feel like there's a lot of passion here, there's a lot of desire, but somebody's feeling really conflicted, and I almost want to say that I feel like that's you. Because I see this person really knowing what they want, really wanting to have you. But there may have been something that they have said or something that they did or a behavior or something that is making you not so sure that you want to be involved, maybe, or that you just want some time alone. Hmm. 
I feel like you're the one trying to figure that out. Let's see, let's clarify the Hierophant. The Three of Cups and the Four of Wands. Wow. All right, so there's, I mean, definitely I'm really getting that this was a very deep connection. Uh, and not only that, I feel like this was um, long term, actually, for many of you. That this was something um, very stable and secure and long term. So if you don't feel like that is the case for you, this might not be your reading. Now, for some of you, it could be that there was, that something came in between the two of you. Like maybe there was some infidelity, um, either on your part or on their part which may have shaken, shaken things up. But I feel like um, for the most part, when you were together, that this was something very, um, very beautiful, all right? It doesn't have to be that there was infidelity. That, that, that's just for some of you, I feel. But overall, the main, the main point here is that this was a very deep spiritual connection that you shared. Let me see the Eight of Wands. The Magician and the Four of Pentacles. I'm going to get one more because this is... A... Your energy is complicated, Cappy. What, what's going on here? The King of Swords. There is something here. We're going to, I bet I'm going to get more information when I clarify their energy because I feel like something happened here. Something happened here with this person that has caused you to really, to really be determined on holding back your energy from them. Maybe it's not something they did. Maybe it's something that you did. Causing you to hold, hold your energy back. Because we do have the Magician. I feel like it's almost like you might have manifested this. Some action. Let me see the Page of Cups. Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords. There's definitely been some action here on your on your part. Um, it could be that you left this, that you walked away from this. Even though I'm not clearly seeing that, it's very interesting the way it's 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 coming up. Um, but there was definitely some kind of an action here that you took, and I feel like it was an action that. You may feel you may feel it went against how you truly feel, but almost feeling like you had to. For some of you, either that, either you felt like you had to, or it's just weighing really heavy on you now. And I feel like this is something that, for the most part, a lot of you have expressed um, to the other person here. But it feels like you're still kind of choosing to be alone at the moment until you make that decision as to what you want to do. Let me see the magician for that. The Seven of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, it, it could be that... Um, Maybe this person had you either as an option or was considering other options. And this could be what pushed you away, maybe. Um, it feels like they're trying to manifest you, but there's a lot of fear as well. Um, almost like they don't know what you're going to do or what your reaction is going to be. And they're, it's like they're having like so many scenarios in their head. I feel like there's a lot of um, overthinking and a lot of just fear revolving around whether they can bring you back or not. Let me see the Ace of Cups. The 
full in strength. It almost feels like, you know, maybe they did something impulsive here. There may be um, something that they did that was impulsive, that they're feeling very regretful for at the moment because they do, they realize how much they love you. It's like, I feel like there was something really challenging here for them. Um, challenging for them, but at the same time, um, I'm, I'm just getting like... It, it may have been, it may have been foolish, but whatever it is, I feel like right now, they want to do something impulsive again in order to get you back. Um, but they might hold back because they're scared. Let me see the sun. Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like we keep getting this Knight of Pentacles in this position here. And the Nine of Pentacles. It's a lot of Pentacles here. Some of you could be dealing with, with a Leo, um, or even possibly another Earth sign here. Maybe even a Taurus. Just calling out what I see doesn't have to be. Um, again, I'm getting that this person is really trying to weigh out their options. They want to manifest you. They don't know how because there's a lot of fear that they won't be able to. I feel like they're kind of like going back and forth um, as well as to whether they should um, come up with a plan to try to get you back or whether they should just um, accept being, being apart from you. And, and being in solitude and being on their own. Um, I feel like it's confusing to them because they really want this. Like that's just the best way I can, I can, I can um, express that. They really want this with you, all right? They do feel that they love you. I feel like they do as well, um, regardless of whether maybe there had been some immaturity in the past, you know, I don't know, maybe they can overcome it, maybe they can't, that's, that's going to show in the future. Um, but what I do see is that they're willing to really do something crazy to get you back because they feel like you fulfill them. Um, but it's confusing to them because they also have that fear that they won't be able to. Um, let's see, let's see the Queen of Wands. Really strange reading, Gabby. Right. Let's see, the Eight of Cups. I, I feel like you're walking away. Or at least keeping your distance, if not completely walking away. I feel like you're trying to emotionally detach yourself um, from this connection and just really trying to find that confidence within yourself on your own. I mean, I do still think that you think about that union, you know, and if it's a possibility or, you know, kind of like playing with that idea in your head. But I feel like for the most part, um, coming up at least, that you're trying to... Keep your distance, but again, I feel like you're conflicted about it. Let's see the Five of Wands, the Four of Cups. Yeah, you're you're not sure that you even agree with your own self. Basically, you're conflicted. I feel like you're going to have this offer come in, and you're not going to know whether to take it or not. And I feel like you're mostly not. All right, but. Just because you're not, it doesn't mean that there isn't a part of you that would actually want to. Let me see the Eight of Swords. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles, the Death, and we did also have the Three of Pentacles. All right, yeah, so hmm, I actually feel like this could be the both of you. I feel like it's mostly you, though, just kind of going back and forth again in your mind. Um, 
whether you would want this new beginning or whether you just want to put an end to this connection altogether. And I feel like that is going to be something that is um, just really, I mean, with the Eight of Swords, I feel like this is going to be something that's going to really be occupying your headspace. And I feel like the message here is to, you know, just allow it to be. You know what? I'm going to, I didn't do this um, for any of the other signs, but I'm going to do this for you because we need some clarity here. Let's just see if we can get any, any messages um, concerning this for you. Because I feel like you're really stuck. It could even be that you're stuck between this, this connection here, and something else with the Three of Pentacles being here. Or it could be that you have a fear of, you know, let's say that there was some kind of infidelity or some deceitfulness in the past. You might be afraid of that um, happening again. Or, you know, whatever a barrier came in between the two of you. There might be that fear of that happening again. So let's um, let's just see. Any helpful messages here for Capricorns if they're in this position? We have the moon. King of Wands. And the King of Wands. Alright, so... It's interesting when spirit does this because it's kind of like saying the message, you know, not everything is supposed to be revealed. Not everything is supposed to um, be known to you just yet. I feel like what is important is for you to um, resolve whatever fears you might be holding on to so that you can see the situation more clearly and really step into, into your own power, right? As this King of Wands, really feeling confident within yourself first before before making a decision here. But definitely, definitely overcome whatever emotions you have repressed or whatever emotions you have been keeping bottled up. Let them come out, all right? Because this moon, I mean, that's about repressed emotions. Let them come up. The King of Wands is all about overcoming challenges or obstacles. And I feel like your obstacle right now is that fear. That is going to help you to see the situation more clearly because the moon also talks about illusions and not being able to see clearly. Things might be hidden. And it's only when you're standing in your full power and have overcome certain fears so that you can see things objectively, it's only then that things will appear clearly to you and you will know what to do. All right, Kathy. So if this was resonating, please do give me a thumbs up. Let me know because this was complicated. This was complicated. So I would love to know um, if this resonated, what, what your situation is. Let's see the final message. All right, and we have miracles. Expect the wonders to emerge. Yeah, it feel you know I feel like you're you, you're feeling stuck right now, and really it is about um, believing in miracles and that yes you can get yourself out of this situation. All right, expect the wonders to emerge, and so that it does, so that you manifest that, and it's really going to be about your own self and what you decide to do and seeing things clearly, making the best decisions for yourself. All right, Capricorn, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.